Hi guys, it's Cindy from Turner Style, and I'm here doing my Tabio sock sponsorship review. I'm going to have photographs of myself wearing all the different socks on the blog. I'll try to put them in this video as well so you guys can get a detail about everything. Um, but I've tried everything on, I've worn a couple of the items out, and so I have kind of a good idea of everything. So I'll start with just a bit about the company. It's called Tabio. It's a Japanese company and it's focus is on socks and tights they make them for both men and women and they have two websites one that is based all in japanese and one that is in english and that one ships all over the world that's where i ordered my heart print tights from um, a few months back so that one is at tabio.com and they have a store in paris and they're carried at a lot of the um, higher end department stores in the UK like Selfridges and Harrods so you can buy them there too. Um, what I originally purchased from them which were the heart print tights they look like this all the sheer tights come like this and on the back it just says the sizing the make of the tights and how much they cost. The heart print tights are £8.50 which ends up being between $16 and $20 depending on if it's US or Canadian and your exchange rates at the time. They also come in two sizes, medium and large. Uh, I think it's because these are originally Japanese so they're a bit smaller fit. The medium is for heights 4'11 to 5'5 and for hip inches 33 to 38. I'm five four and a half, so these fit me perfectly. They're the right length for me and they fit perfect at the waist. If you're ordering from them, you know, if you're normally a small, you need to get a medium. And if you're normally a medium, you should probably get a large. Um, and if you're really tall, you should definitely get a large. They come in beige and black. And they're highest selling tights. They are incredibly popular with bloggers and in magazines, so I would definitely recommend these. I bought two pairs when I originally ordered them. The other pair I've, I've washed and worn quite a few times, they're these ones. And just when you open them up, they already have the foot shape, so they're easy to get on. And the top of the tight is reinforced, so it's stronger and it's opaque. So there, there's some strength there when you put them on, so they're less likely to run. I will show you, these ones have been washed and worn and just washed in regular cycle on the, in the washing machine and they haven't run yet. There's a couple small pulls in them, which I don't know if it'll come out. You can kind of see it right here. But other than that, they're in good condition. I am careful when I wear these. I don't wear them with um, shoes that are going to rub against them. I'll wear socks underneath or... Um, I'd be careful when I put them on and off with jewelry because if you do snag them, they will run. I mean, with any sheer tights, they're going to run. I will say if you are careful, these will last you a lot longer than a regular pair of sheer tights that you buy at the drugstore or at the regular like H&M type stores. Like, they are a bit stronger than that, um, but you, you do have to have some care. That's why I bought a backup. Like, I know these aren't going to last forever. But yeah, they're really worth it for the style. It's hard to find good quality... Um, heart print tights that won't tear on the first wear so I do highly recommend these and I'm really excited to try and get them in the beige I'd love to see how they look as a neutral on your leg I think that'd be really cute so I'm definitely going to see if I can get my hands on those the first pair of tights that they sent me to try are these floral vine tights and like I said I'm gonna have pictures on the blog and hopefully in the video but in the catalog you can see them they look oops just like that these are probably my favorite thing of everything they sent me they are so beautiful on they have the flower pattern but it's not so um, large that it seems like it's the first thing you notice they can be abstract and they can be kind of a neutral when seen from far away or if you're not paying super close attention to what's on your legs they just look really flattering the the way the vines are makes your legs look longer they have a different make than the sheer tights they're more of a fishnet so they are a bit more opaque they're a bit warmer they're a bit more durable and they come in black and in the beige just like the heart prints these are eight pound fifty as well 
So they're a really good price. I love these. I wore them out. Um, they kept me warm. I mean, obviously they're not as warm as an opaque tight, but if it's like, you know, in the 10 degrees Celsius or like 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and when you're around that temperature, these will keep you warm. And they're really cute. I had a girl ask me where I bought them, and I would definitely purchase these. So out of everything I'm gonna talk about today, these are the ones I say go get. They're really, really cute. Um, well worth the purchase. These and the heart print ones, which are amazing as well. Okay, the next thing they sent were these over-the-knee socks. Now, you know I love socks and over-the-knee socks. So I was excited to try these out. I'll just show you them. They are 44% acrylic, 35% nylon, 20% wool, and 1% poly. So that just shows you them having the wool. They are really warm. They will be perfect for winter. They go all the way up to mid-thigh. So if you wear a mini skirt, you can still see a bit of leg. Um, or you could scrunch them down a little bit. But if you wear like a longer skirt, like to the knee, you don't even see any lay. You can wear these as like a tight. So it's totally up to you on how you want to do that. They're pretty versatile. They, the best feature of these, because to be honest, when I first saw them, I wasn't a huge fan. The pattern is cute, the vine pattern, but I'm more of like a neutral kind of girl. So I like stuff that can scrunch down. I like stuff that doesn't have a pattern because then the pattern gets... Um, messed up but you'll see when I'm wearing them they actually look really good anyway um, so they kind of surprised me at how nice they were my favorite thing about them is that at the band at the top the bottom half of the band has a lot of elastic so it's gonna hold up the tights but the top half of the band is loose so it has a bit of elastic but it's not the same tight elastic that's here so this part won't dig into your leg and it's just going to be a lot more flattering. The problem with sometimes with stay up kind of socks is that they'll dig into your leg and it creates kind of like a leg muffin top, which is the worst thing. <laughs> but these don't do that because of the way they're constructed. So I was really happy to see that. Now these come in gray lavender, brown beige, navy navy, navy green, and dark brown beige. Those are the different color combos. These are navy navy. So that'll kind of give you an idea. Um, the one negative about these is that they are 16 pounds. So yes, they are good quality, they have great construction, and I think they're awesome socks. But for 16 pounds, that ends up being around 30, $35. For me personally, I wouldn't spend that on a pair of socks. I mean, maybe if I bought one pair for the whole season, but I like a lot of variety, so I just I don't think I would spend invest that much in one pair of socks. Um, I think you know if you lived in the UK or you lived in Europe where the euro is a better exchange, it might be you know I would spend like fifteen bucks or sixteen dollars on these socks, but I wouldn't spend almost forty. Just the exchange rate isn't worth it for me. The last item are the polka dot tights, which are exactly the same construction as as the little heart tights. They have a reinforced upper, sheer stocking, and then the foot shape at the bottom. And these are their second most popular tights after the heart ones on their site. I think it has a lot to do with um, Balenciaga using these tights on their runway for fall. And a lot of magazines have been featuring them. So they've become pretty popular for this season. And they're just a tiny dot. These ones come in black, brown, and beige so you can get different colors. Too much say that I didn't say about the heart tights. I mean, the same construction, they're very silky, they feel really good on your legs. Um, the one negative is that they are sheer stockings. Just like any sheer stocking, you have to be careful that you don't snag them on anything. You do find that if you are careful, these last a really long time. They are um, a lot stronger than your basic drugstore shears or your basic department store sheer stock. These are £8.50, same price as the heart ones. Basically, these ones are a bit more elegant. You can wear them to a variety of functions. You're not going to look um, juvenile with the heart or cutesy. Um, you're going to look sophisticated. You're going to look elegant. And um, they can be dressed up or dressed down. That's the great thing about these. That's my opinion. I'm going to have the pictures again. Check them out on the blog. There's also uh, a blog that, that Tabio has. It's tabiosocks.blogspot.com. They have information about what's going on with their company. They have, you know, features in magazines, that kind of thing.
If you have any questions or if you want to see a specific item from their website reviewed, just drop me a comment. I'll try to get them to send me those items. Um, that's about it. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great night. I hope you don't hate the new hair. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.